Hi guys, Mikey from Nine Clubhouse here, hoping you've had a great weekend and you're all keeping safe. I figured you guys might like to have access to some tools to work on music whilst you're all, we're all keeping safe at home. So today I want to talk about vocal sessions and Reaper. So I'm not going to go into depth with you today about how to record your own vocals because most of you won't have the right equipment at home to make it work well. However, um, there are plenty of pre-recorded vocals out there on the net called acapellas and uh, you can go looking for them and do a remix or of something that you love or a mashup of a couple of different things that you love. Um, okay, but having said that, if you really want to record into Reaper using the microphone built into your computer or one that's on some earbuds, I will quickly show you how to do that. And then once lockdown has ended, you can record the idea that um, again with a better microphone at Clubhouse if you like. Um, yeah, so uh, before I open up Reaper, um, I'm just going to take you to an acapella website that I sometimes use. Um, and you might be asking, what's an acapella? Well, an acapella is just the uh, studio isolated vocal recording. Um, and it's usually a popular song. Um, and you can use these to create remixes or mashups of these songs. Um, so they're really, you know, they're often the most identifiable part of a song is the vocal, right? Um, and so like all the other things I've shown you, this website is free to use and it's free to join. You just need an email address to register. Um, however, unlike the other resource, this one lets you download um, copyrighted material, which means if you, uh, if you include anything from the site in a commercial recording, you're likely to get in trouble. But, you know, don't let that stop you from creating remixes and mashups for your friends and family. Um, just be aware you can't legally release anything um, with these acapellas on them. So um, I'm going to do a Google search for uh, V-O-C-L-R dot I-T. Yeah. What do we got? Come on, Google. like everyone's using the internet or something cool so that's the website that you've got oh and it's automatically logged me in because i've got an account with them um that's where you would need to create your account um, if you don't have one um so uh righty ho um you'll you will have to make an account before you can download anything um and it's just like the other um, websites that I've shown you, um, Looperman or SampleSwap or any of those other ones. Um, these guys run an interesting business model in that you get five free downloads a month, I think. And once you've reached your limit, you either have uh, you have a choice to either pay some money um, for more access or wait until um, your limit resets, kind of like data on a phone plan or something. Um, you can see here that um, my limit's back to five because I haven't downloaded anything in a bit. Um, so I, I, I thought I'd mention this so that you don't just immediately run to the first thing and download it. Um, uh, yeah, so you want to think carefully about what you're going to download um, Yeah, before you download anything. Um, so there is quite a bit to the site, um, but the reason we're here is for the acapella library. Um, and that's up here on the left hand side, so I'm just going to hit that. Um, and oh my god, the internet sucks slow today. Um, so once uh, it comes up, yep, uh, we'll get access to the library, which is pretty huge actually. So if I scroll down to the bottom here, um, you can see that there's 739 more pages of acapellas. Uh, <laughs> So to look at, so there's heaps of content to check out, and um, more is added by the week. Um, so one great thing about this website, and a really cool tool that um, I want to point out is um, they've got the ability to filter by BPM, key, scale, and genres. Um, so this is really going to be useful to you if you've already made something in Looperman um, and Rupa, 
and you want to add a vocal uh, sample to it or something that's recognizable from a, a tune. Um, so if you've already got something and you know it's an A flat for instance, you can just type that in and um, search for all of the, um, the acapellas in A flat and pick ones that you like. Um, otherwise, if you're just starting out a remix um, and you already know which vocal you're going to work with, um, you can easily find the key and BP, uh, BPM information. So, uh, like for instance, if I click on this one here, Selena Gomez um, a cappella, and it'll take me through to the individual track. Um, it tells me that it's in the key of D minor. Um, and it's 92 BPM so um, yeah that's really handy when you're looking for loops from looper man um, or sample uh, swap or freesound.org so you can um, yeah fit it in what, with what you've already got okay now there is a bit of swearing and adult themes <laughs> on some of these acapellas so perhaps just think about that before you start a project and maybe ask yourself Will I get in trouble if mum, dad, auntie, grandma, whoever hears this? Um, and if the answer is yes, maybe do something else. Um, but I'm not the lyric police and you'll have to make your own decisions about what is appropriate for your household and what you think your parents will be okay with you listening to. If you're all at, uh, at unsure about this, just ask them, you know, what's the worst that can happen, right? Um, anyway. Once you've made a decision, it's just as easy as clicking on download and going through the process. Uh, and we can see that it's downloading here on the left hand side. So yeah, pretty simple, right? Uh, so um, that's how you would download an acapella. Um, and that's really the first step down the path to making your own mashup or remix um, so we might go into that in more detail in another um, video but let's leave that there for now and um, have a look at a really well conceived vocal part that Bees from Tidal Clubhouse has recorded um, so excuse me this vocal is um, over the Looper Man beat that I made for the tutorial series that you're watching right now um, and it's part of an ongoing um, lockdown collaboration that we've got going on. Um, so this is a really great breakdown of, the, of his lyric writing process on the Tider Clubhouse Facebook page, which you should really check out. And um, I'll put a link in the description if you haven't seen it. So, uh, we'll go open up. Let's open up Reaper. And check out what Bees has given us as his vocal parts. So uh, here we go. Green, red, yellow, pink, all of that stuff. Okay, I will go into more detail of what I've done to process his vocal in the next vid. But I thought it was really cool how he'd laid his vocal parts down. And um, also thought about those concepts um, in... Or, sorry, and I thought that those concepts might be uh, helpful or useful to those of you considering writing your own vocal parts and maybe wanting to record them. Um, the way he's approached things is really awesome in that all his parts fit together in a really cohesive way. They, su they support each other in the mix and um, it's really obvious he's done this before. So um, yeah, uh, just sort of bear with me while I, we break down the what he's done. So the first thing that you'll notice uh, when we have a look at the session is that the uh, there's a main vocal here uh, that I've put in green and uh, it's it's pretty fat you can see that it's quite a loud vocal you know he's recorded it pretty hot and he's probably compressed it um, and we'll go into that more details and, uh, and, and that sort of stuff in the future um, but there's also these other vocals as well um, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six tracks of doubles. And I've labeled that double bus because a bus is just a, a group of tracks. Um, and then there's two tracks of ad libs. Uh, a sample track in green. Um, and three tracks of uh, 
backing vocals by Pepper, his partner. Um, so that totals uh, 13 individual tracks. I counted, pre-counted that um, for this one verse, which sounds like a lot, but I can tell you they all have a purpose. Um, because of the way he has arranged his parts to uh, come in, the overall effect is pretty seamless. So uh, let's have a listen to it with everything um, in the mix and then we'll break it down and listen to the individual parts. So here we go. Let's just play it from the end of the first hook. Like that, like my we slow it down to something cool like that. Making moves worldwide, yeah, but we're sleeping out back. I'm putting in work like it's a hot and step. Back, bless you. My verse is not true, listen. Be nice and nice now. Check who's listening. Connected to like minds, that's my theory in life, son. My network's network, take the money you run. I'm with the sun, we don't shine, that's destiny and then some. Action speed out of the words. Far from handsome, moving through some predicaments. My bros at me. Stop it at the bottom end with frozen feet. Now I'm standing on my own too, my girl beside me. Like, Myth and Mary J, you're all I need. I'm main East Coast to the other on me. I'm like my most top notch, top notch MC. Yeah, cool. So I'm pretty happy with where that mix is going. Um, uh, obviously, it's, obviously, it's still a work in progress, but that's largely what what the uh, the first verse is going to sound like. And I reckon Bees has done an amazing job on it. it sounds great. It sounds great, bro. Oh, awesome. Um, so the first thing um, I'd like to do is break down. Uh, the main vocal isolated with the doubles and the ad libs. So I'll just solo up those buses. There's the main vocal, there's the doubles, and here's the ad libs. So it's always a, okay. Mm. Mm. We make moves like that, like Maui slowing down the song, we cool like that. Making moves worldwide, yeah, while you're sleeping out back. I'm putting in work like it's a hot and step back. Listen, my verse is nitroglycerin. Been nice since the 90s now. Check who's listening. Connected to like minds, that's my theory in life, son. My network's net worth. Take, take the money, money and run. run. Under the sun, we all shine. That's destiny and then some. Actions be louder than words. Far, Far from handsome. Been through some predicaments. My bros at me. Yep. Started yep. at the bottom, yep. man, with frozen feet. Woo. Now I'm standing on my own, too. My girl beside me. That's like, Myth and Mary J are all I need. I remain East Coast to the put dirt on me. I'm like, my was top notch, top notch MC. Native. Yeah, man. All right. Obviously, the de the delays and reverbs are way over the top when you hear them isolated like this. But the with the vocal, uh, yeah. But I bet you hardly even noticed them when the rest of the mix was in there. The, when the beat was in there, it all sounded pretty seamless, right? Um, so one thing I would on, want to point out is, how, um, can you hear how Bees has written the doubles and ad libs to do two things, really? Um, the first thing is to add weight to the main vocal, making the whole thing fatter and slightly chorusy, especially on the end of phrases where the rhyme scheme falls. Um, secondly, this technique also uses uh, the these other backing tracks, I suppose you call them, um, or double tracks and ad libs, to offer commentary on the subject matter being discussed in the verse. The effect is great and makes the whole thing sound bigger, wider, more upfront, and larger than life. It sounds like there's a whole crew of Bennett delivering the idea, right? Um, so Pepper's part is another example of this idea playing out. So the part both offers a commentary on what's being said lyrically in the verse, but is also musically supportive as well. So let's have another another listen. I'll just put Pepper's bus in. Play from a couple of bars beforehand. 
Been through some predicaments, my bros and me. Yep. Started yep. at the bottom yep. and with frozen feet. Woo. Now I'm standing on my own too, my girl beside me. Yeah, like Myth and Mary J are all I need. I remain East okay. Coast to the okay. third okay. on me. Okay. I'm like okay. mom's top notch, top notch in C native. Yeah, cool. So pretty awesome, eh? Yeah, I'm loving where this is going. Cool. Alright, so the next video I'm going to go into more detail in how I've treated the vocals and what you should do when you receive a vocal or when you've recorded one yourself. Um, but now I think it's time to move on. Um, so before we wrap the video up, I promised you that I'd show you how to record into Reaper. Um, so I will do that now. It's actually really easy to do, but because most of you guys won't have access to a good quality recording mic, um, I would keep the expectations low and just aim to get rough demos of your ideas down and then we'll record them properly at a later date in Clubhouse. So the things that you'll need, um, you'll probably need to be uh, a set of headphones or actually you will need a set of headphones um, so you can avoid feedback and the sound of your track getting into the microphone. Um, if you have a cheap pair of those wired earbuds like um, uh, if you can see those guys if you can see those guys there yeah and they've got the little microphone built into them um, yeah if you have a set of those they might work for you um, and most laptops have a microphone built into them these days but the quality is pretty hit, hit and miss and usually the uh, computer mic doesn't sound that great. So don't expect to be making finished vocal parts on these mics. They're really only put, for putting down uh, demo parts and you know, yeah. Also, every computer is slightly different. So don't be too disappointed if you can't get um, recording up and running on your computer. Um, having said that, to actually do it, I'll just close this one so I'm not like setting myself up for traps. Close. Nope. Um, how you do it is you just left click over on the left hand side, um, anywhere really. Um, if you've got something open already, a project open that you want to record vocals into, you just click on one of the pre existing tracks. Um, and then you can press Control T or Command T. Oops, one too many. Um, if you're on a Mac, um, and once you're on, once you've got a track up, you can label it if you want by double clicking it. I'll call it Vocal. Um, and you basically just um, left click on aha, the. Red, red button up here. Yeah. Ooh, I'm getting quite a bit of slap back, so I'm just going to turn the monitoring off. And you can see that um, my uh, my mic is being picked up here. It's there's like that yellow bars jumping up and down. So that's that's a, a level indi indicator that it's telling me it's working. Um, yeah. So from here, it's pretty simple. All you got to do is press the red record button down the bottom. I'll do that now. And you can see the waveform going in and it's traveling along to the right, blah, 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 blah. Um, okay. And then you press save and then it's recorded. I'll do that now. And you can see the waveform going in and it's traveling along to the right. Blah. Yeah. So there you go. That's, that's how you um, record into Reaper. Um, you might have trouble with your mic overloading. It might be too loud um, or it might be too quiet. If it's too quiet, get closer <laughs> to the microphone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not rocket science. Um, if it's too loud though, um, I'll show you what to do. Um, so you wanna go down to the speaker icon on your um, system tray, right click um, and go to not volume mixer as you might think, but sound settings. Um, and you want to go down to, uh, what is it? Oh God, I've forgotten. Uh, device properties, that's it. Yeah, cool. So that that one there is volume, um, not that, that goes to Reaper basically. Um, so if you're overloading, that's the one that you want to bring down, okay? So 
yeah so uh if you didn't catch that just rewind the video check it out um well that kind of wraps up this tutorial for today um we've covered a bit of ground and we'll go into more detail in the next video okay so we've talked about what acapellas are and where to get them um, and we quickly deconstructed how Bees recorded his vocal parts from an arrangement point of view for the Looperman collaboration we're doing. So, um, and then finally we looked at how to record into Reaper channels using your computer's microphone and some earbuds uh, or headphones, whatever you got. Um, so thanks for watching and until the next video, I hope you all stay safe and look after each other. Cool. All right. Bye for now.